Art education requires you to understand how to work in team, how to take an idea from inception to completion, how to creatively solve a problem that's going to be presented. I'm taking art at Centerville because I feel like art is a place where I can think outside of the box. Like in math, I'm able to visually think of like how to solve a problem. I'm kind of deciding what I want to do. I'm focusing on engineering, possibly pursuing a, a, a major in systems engineering. Art requires you to not only think creatively, but it really requires you to think critically. And at the college level, this is the kind of skill set that you need to be successful in your chosen field once you graduate. Our school theater is having a production in the spring on the Three Musketeers, and now I'm constructing these four life-size uh, horses for the musketeers to ride. My goal is to attend Savannah College of Art and Design in hopes of becoming a set painter and eventually a set designer. You want to use the principles and elements of design. You want to be able to talk about artwork cogently. The arts require you to be a scientist, a mathematician, a philosopher, a humanist. Art has helped me in my other core classes as I look thing at tasks in a different creative light. The arts are important for a well-rounded education. Without art, there's no empathy. Kids just don't understand what is important if they haven't been exposed to it. You want to get yeah. the super smooth art, the huge umbrella of art, uses everything in your gut, in your soul, in your heart, and in your brain. Without this discipline, you really wouldn't have the ability to think both critically and creatively. Art just makes me happy, and it's freedom, really. <laughs>